Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new here, my name is Bells and today we have a very lengthy haul. I have been gifted pieces, I've splurged, I try to go out of my usual norm and shop at stores I may not really go to often or have never been to at all. So yeah, I'm very excited for this haul. Oh my gosh guys, we have a lot of cute, cute pieces. I'm very excited for you guys to see, okay? Okay, so let's get straight into this video. If you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. So before we begin this haul, I wanna let you guys know that it is sponsored by Shop Tagger once again. I've worked with them in the past and I'm excited to work for them again and let you guys know all about it if you haven't known already. Shop Tagger is an app as well as a Chrome extension which never lets you miss a price drop or a coupon code whenever you shop. So I like it because I like to shop on brands. I've been buying a lot of homeware, a lot of clothes and it literally just pops up and tells me if there's a discount code, which I love. I love to save a coin if I can, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys how I use it by downloading it on my Chrome as an extension. It's simple, easy, and free. It's already in your bookmark and it pops up every time there's a discount code for a website. This can range for anything from clothes to homeware, which is very, very essential now that we're in lockdown, of course. So follow me quickly whilst I show you guys some of my favorite shops to shop at. So for today it was naked. What I do is I scope the scenes, scope the clothes, scope the vibe I'm going for today and I add things to my basket. So once I add everything to my basket and I'm ready to check out, Shop Tagger will pop up as a push notification to let me know discount codes and of course I'm not going to turn down the opportunity, okay? So I let it load up all the discount codes I could possibly use and it chooses the best one for me. Today I saved £27, I love that. And then another thing I like to do on Shop Tagger is create lists of things I'm interested in buying, not so much at the moment like I did with Naked, but in the future very very simple i love the push notifications that lets me know whether to save a coin or keep organized and shop tagger also just recently launched a new cashback feature which you can earn cash via paypal when you shop from selected retailers so all in all this is a great app to download not only for your laptop but also for your phone so i will leave the link down below to check them out so if you're interested which you really should be link will be down below so you guys can get started download it it's free it's easy to use and have a good shopping experience okay right cool let's get into today's haul I'm super excited to show you guys what I got <laughs> So we might as well start with what I am wearing. Okay, so my hair, <laughs> I hope you guys like the braids. I got goddess braids. Hairstylist will be down below, I love it. Super, super cute. I've had them for about a week now, almost two weeks now, and I've just put them in like an updo just to make it look a bit more neat and new. And then I've got my necklaces. I get a lot of questions on them. This one up here is a choker from Edge of Amber, as well as this one down here i will leave a link down below of course and they're also giving me a discount code which i believe is bells 15 i don't get any commission or anything like that but um just for you guys if you guys are interested and then this necklace is from keone black home brand it's just got cancer because i'm a cancer watch was a gift vivian westwood top is from mesh key it's just a white bodysuit and what else do i have on i think that's everything so the first two pieces i actually got were vintage pieces um i don't know what got into me i'm like during this you know during when i can't leave i'm like i don't want to splurge on like real luxury goods i'd rather just go for vintage um pieces that you kind of have to get now or you miss the chance chance and okay so let me just go straight into it i bought um bought both of these pieces different times not together from an instagram like boutique called jean vintage so let me tell you okay i this is like my first time buying a vintage like designer and i think when i buy my designer pieces they're all like new in my head i still wanted everything you'd get when buying a luxury piece so the thing to be new and to be in brand spanking condition and that's not always the case but anyway let me get into it so first i got this scarf it's a christian dior scarf nice simple it's a really big it's a really big scarf i can wear this as a head scarf i can wear this even like as a top i probably would wear it more as like a head scarf me, i don't know what i'm trying to do here maybe it's like a
Okay, I don't know where I was going with it, but I, maybe, maybe sometime, who knows? I don't know if the red or pink was meant to like spill over. Um, it's vintage, it's like used, of course. Um, still in good condition, but I think you guys can see like the 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 red kind of spilled over. So I think that's something I didn't really note down in like the pictures and stuff. So when I got it, I was a bit. But to be honest, I can still make it work, it's fine. It's not, it's not the, the biggest deal. And to be honest, all my scarves end up turning into headscarves anyway, so I'm not that bothered. I can't remember how much I paid for this. I think it was under 200 pounds. So yeah, a little bit steep, but it's Christian Dior, so what can you do? And then I got something else from Christian Dior. You guys have probably seen it if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you guys should. I got the Boston bowling bag. She's a cutie. I can't even lie. She's an absolute cutie. She's in good condition. She's kind of worn in like the center. And because it's like a Boston like bowling bag, these bags aren't like sturdy, if that makes sense. The material can be very much squashed. So it's good for if you're traveling and you want to squash this in the bag, it will be fine. I put um, stuffing in her. Like, I put stuffing in her, especially when I hang her up with all my other bags, just so she can stand upright. The reason I'm buying clothes is really for you guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like an like a an inspo for you guys, especially my Instagram. I just be putting together outfits and looks. I just want to be a little mood board for you lot. That's that's really what it is. So that's my excuse for buying things, you know. I saw Cindy Kimberly with this bag, and hers had like the gold um, detailing. And I preferred the silver one when I saw it on the Jean Vintage website. I bought it within 20 minutes. It was up for 20 minutes and it was gone because it was it was me. I got it. But yeah, good condition. The bottom is fine. Up there is fine. It's a good size bag. I can fit. Obviously, I can fit my phone in here. It's quite bulky. I can fit a lot in here. If obviously, if I take all the stuffing out, I can fit a lot. So I'm so glad I've got a bag that I can actually fit things in. I'm kind of coming off the mini bag phase. Like I want a practical bag, and this I'm very excited. I'm pro probably gonna get like a bag strap. Like, if anyone's got any um, tips for like maybe getting rid of um, it being a bit run down in the center or how I can maintain it or anything, please let me know. She's a cutie. She, even, oh, she just goes with everything in my wardrobe. I love her. Okay, so keeping on with Dior, but this isn't vintage. I got this from Farfetch. I got, I got, I got something else, Dior. I was on the Farfetch website on the sale because I was just like, I just want to see what they have on the sale. I wasn't even trying to buy anything. And you guys can probably guess. I got some sunglasses. I've been going for sunglasses crazy. You guys know, I love sunglasses these days. I'm just trying to build my collection. So I got some Dior sunglasses. This is what the, this is what the case looks like. Oh, my nails are so, I need to get them done. So I got the So Light two sunglasses in the shade like, I think this was like a brown. How cute are these guys? How cute. With the Dior on each side and the color. I needed some don't speak to me glasses. Like this means serious business. So I'm just gonna. <sighs> These are very much don't talk to me. Cause I love the um, so light, the so light ones, but they're too big. They're way too big for my face. I've got a big forehead, but I've got a small face. So they would just eat me up. I probably wouldn't wear them with this hairstyle. But they're very much don't talk to me today. I'm not in your mood. Oh, and then I like how, I don't know what you call these, but they're adjustable. They're very much adjustable for your eye, which is great for me because sometimes I don't like wearing my sunglasses too close to my face. So you just adjust. And I think the closer you put them, put, push these together, the further they'll sit from your face, which is great. But yeah, those are my three things I got from Dior. Two vintage pieces and one brand new. Do you know what I realized? This look is giving me, this is, this is giving me Riri at the Met Gala with the all white. I think, did she have her hair up and she had like little curls coming down? Let me go find a picture. Yes, with the white and the hair up with the, hers was a bit messy up too. I just realized this, this is, this look is giving me. 
It's gonna be that. Anywho, all right. Next piece, oh, let's keep going. Oh, I've got some trainers to show you guys. So we have two pairs of Jordan ones, all right? Okay, so I'll start with the first pair, which are the mochas, the dark mocha. I've been wearing these. You guys, if you guys follow me, you guys know on my Instagram. I've been wearing these babies. When I tell you these are, they go with everything. They came with black laces, but I took them out and put white ones. I just feel like it goes with the look a lot better. These trainers go with absolutely everything in my wardrobe. I can make them work, especially because it's like white and black, and then the dark mocha is only really at the back of the shoe, so it's just a nice element. And my wardrobe is very neutral, it's very black and white, so it goes with everything. I'd say it's a bit off-white actually, because the tissue paper is white, and like you can see it's a bit off-white, which I think is better. I just oh, I love these trainers. I love these so much. These were not cheap to get, but. I really, really like them. I got them from um, someone that sources trainers, Crep Cured, I'll, I'll have them linked down below, their Instagram. I got another pair of Jordans in red. I can't even lie, I got these because Ade has them and they look good on his, and good on him and they work well with a lot of his pieces. This was definitely like half the price of the Mocha, so definitely cheaper, but um, I really like them. My shoe, my foot looks really, really small. Yeah, I'm a size five for reference. I have um, some laces from the Off-White and um, Jordan Collab, the Retros, the cream ones, and it came with some black laces, and I feel like I'm going to switch out this shoe, this black lace, and put the Off-White ones, which has like shoelace on them. Shoelace, shoe. So I think I might just take out the black laces and put these on just to give it a bit of something you know a little bit of pizzazz because i think this shoe is really nice but i could add a little bit more to it those are my two new additional trainers to my collection very happy about that they're just adding to my collection my shoe collection like, um, you guys keep asking for shoe collection but i think i just need a few more pairs right of shoes and i'll be ready to show you guys so this is from a brand called source unknown shout out to my friend naya who put me on to them they're basically i mentioned it in a vlog they are let me try to open this while i was talking to you guys so basically Source Unknown are a retailer online and their clothes give me very Zara meets Urban Outfitters meets Cos. That's the child that they would have. So I'm very excited to try the clothes out. The clothes on the website look sick. Expensive, but sick. So let's open this baby up. Okay. okay. That's what it looks like inside. Let's open it. I spent like $400 here. So I think it's, I don't think it's a UK brand. Didn't pay customs charge either, if anyone asking. Ooh, okay. Right, let me put this down, okay. The quality, I can feel it, yes, yes. Purchased, I'm gonna let it come up here, a nice, lovely, white knitwear dress. I'm not gonna do it any justice with me showing on here. I need to try to try it on. But let me tell you, it's ribbed. The quality is amazing. It's a one size only, which is very strange. It's giving me Brandy Melville. So I don't know how big this is gonna run. I know it's gonna fit me just by how it feels and stuff. But one size fits all, I just, I don't know. I think the most this dress, just by looking at it, the most it could probably stretch to is probably a 12. And then anything above a 12, I personally think would be pushing it, like a UK size 12. So, mm, but it's a beautiful dress. The neckline is gorgeous. Um, I really like deep cut neck, necklines like this. It's really flattering on me. The quality just is phenomenal. And it flares out a little bit at the arms and it doesn't go all the way to the end, which is quite light because you can then um, stack up on jewelry, especially around your wrists, accessorizing, necklaces with this would be gorge. I'm very excited to wear this. It's giving me spring. It's giving me still winter because I can layer up, wear coats and stuff, boots. Ooh, she's a beauty. She's a beauty. She's a nice cream color. I don't know if I said white. If I said white, it's not white, it's cream. This is stunning. 
It's also another knitwear piece. This is like a cardigan and it goes in at the waist. I'm just gonna do cutaways and show you guys how it looks on because I'm not gonna explain it very well. The brown on my skin. I'm kind of scared I look a bit naked. It's quite close to my skin tone, but that's okay. I don't really care. I don't care. I don't know why I'm making that a big deal. It does not matter to me. Right. Ooh, she is gorgeous. The button detailing. Imagine this with some leather trousers and some heels. Gorgeous, some nice skin tight leather trousers. It's a moment, it's a moment, even with this hairstyle. Even, even with this hairstyle. So the next piece we've got is another knitwear top. I don't know, you guys can just tell. I was feeling the waves, feeling the vibe. So this is, you know, nice and business in the front and the party in the back. An absolute party in the back. This is gorgeous, especially if you like to show your back. It's like doing a little, but not too much, never too much. Oh, she is really, really nice. She is a piece. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna style her yet, but I have many ways because once again, it's very neutral tone, very easy to style. Oh, something nice and tight on the bottom, some heels, a cute bag. Could she go with my Dior bag? She might be able to go with my Dior bag. I don't know if anything can go with my Dior bag. My little Boston bowling bag, baby. Oh, this could be a moment, this could be a moment. This could work, this could work. I love this crisscross detailing. And I love the ribbed. It's always really nice and uh, very forgiving on the body. So yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a vibe. Once again, I think this is also one size. They're all pretty much one size, which is very scary. Okay, the next piece I got is a blazer. Let me, oh, I love this. I love everything. Once again, I'm just gonna try it on. The quality is good, it feels heavy, it feels structured. The cut, it's very oatmeal color. I think that was a, the vibe I was going for, really oatmeal. And the color palette, I really, I really thought the color palette with all these pieces, I was, I was thinking, I was having a vibe. But yeah, this is very lovely. I am very excited to style this, babe. I'm very excited to style her. The buttons. I'm gonna go give you guys a good cutaway so you guys can see what it looks like on the shoulders. Um, all the pieces have a really nice effect on the shoulders. Either they have shoulder pads or balloon effect or something to just make your silhouette look really nice, which I love. It's just the detailing for me. The quality just, oh, it's a good, it's, it, you know, it is expensive. It definitely is expensive, but. I'm very happy with what I've got personally. This is also one size, so I'm oh, also kind of a bit scared. But they're so nice, so I know I'm gonna be shopping here again. <laughs> I know I am. So yeah, that is everything from Source Unknown. That's my first time shopping with them and it won't be my last. In fact, I'm kind of scared because the pieces are very, very nice. They're very nice, wow. Like I said, it's like a mix of if Zara, Urban Outfitters, and Cos had a child. That's what the child would be. So yes, keeping up with the vibe of sophisticated, a little higher in price, um, but still a good quality and good bang for your buck. We have Because of Alice. And this brand was started by an influencer on Instagram and YouTube called Alice. And she is so stylish. She's a real stylish babe on the gram. And she created her own brand. And literally, I think it's all about key classical pieces to build a wardrobe. I've actually purchased from her before. And I included it in a brand, included in a brand, included it in a vlog. And I think I bought like four pieces and I really love everything. I don't even style pieces pieces on my um, Instagram, so. Ooh, I love it. It says, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. And that's what it looks like inside. So yeah, this was gifted to me. However, I bought, I picked out these pieces because I have, ooh, other pieces from her that I know will go really well with. Okay. So the first piece is this. I think it's like off-white, white blazer. Oh, okay. Stunning, right? Okay. And it 
I'm just gonna insert a picture of what it looks like on. I have this in black and I've already styled it and I'll insert the way I styled it with my outfit. I love this blazer. It's once again structured. I love a structured, I love a really focusing on giving you shape. Those are my favorite type of blazers. Um, I find like bigger, baggier blazers just make me look too boxy and too frumpy. I don't really like it. So I love a nice fitted blazer and it comes with a belt so you can really, really cinch in at the waist. I've got the matching pair of the, the bottoms for the blazer. So I'm gonna wear it together as a suit in the cutaway so you guys can see. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I like the, I think the price point is really good. It's along the size of like House of CB, so higher end high street brands and not so much like designer but still luxury you're gonna get a luxury piece okay so yes very 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 nice this is giving me I need a bob with this with this fit you see the vision like a bob some nice court heels a lovely crisp bag to go with it and somewhere important to go I just need that option you guys know I'm still gonna wear this outfit for you guys in lockdown and show you guys like I said I'm gonna be a little mood board but I'm so excited for the day I can actually wear this somewhere. Next piece we have, oh, it's this really long, oh. next piece is this jeans, these jeans. These, I already know they're going into my favorite pair of jeans. So this is the wide leg jeans in light blue. I've got the size medium. I'm gonna insert a picture of what they look like on on the model and how they look on on myself. I just know I'm gonna like them, I just know. And usually at the waist, it's a bit big for me. I know the trousers I got um, last time, the white one was a bit big, but it's okay. I'm actually getting things tailored. Hopefully, like next week, so I can actually tailor all my, sorry, gosh, I can actually tailor all my pieces. But I'm very excited. I'm really, oh, once again, I'm trying to build a wardrobe of just key classical pieces. So a very classical jean, a nice wash. It's got this frayed bottom at the end, just to give it a bit more of a worn in look, which I really like. But yes, these just look like they're just cut to perfection. I'm so excited. Next brand we have from another brand that I have purchased from before, and this time I'm being gifted is a black owned brand. Oh called Women's. You guys have seen them on my channel before, my black home haul. So they have come out with some loungewear pieces, which I'm very excited to try on, as well as a stylish piece Ooh, brand. So this is what it looks like when it comes in. So let's just open the first one, which is the Strato hoodie in Thunder Grey. Oh, the size medium perfect. I just know how, I love how everyone knows my size. Yay, so this is a medium hoodie of quality, feels nice and thick, nice and comfy. I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear at this. You guys know neutrals is my vibe. Like, think about this with the Mocha um, Jordan 1s. Perfect, you know? It's a lovely grey, it's like kind of sage-ish, sage-ish, almost. God, I can't talk today. Lovely. I know it's gonna be like a nice slouchy fit, which I like. Very comfortable. Um, perfect for going to the airport. But I'm not gonna be doing that anytime soon. So yes, I will try this on for you guys, of course. Let you guys know how it looks and fits on. And yeah, I'll give you guys an idea. I think if you like a fitted look, obviously it goes a size down because it is oversized. If you like a nice com comfy slouchy look, then opt for maybe a size up or your actual size. This is also another one of their packaging. So this is, so this is Onyx in black and I got a size medium. And now this is what the top looks like on. It's got um, these like hooks on and you can adjust them to how you want them to look. If you want the top bit to show and you want a little bit of cleavage going on, you can unhook the top. And then if you want a little bit of belly, a little bit of a crop top style, you can do the bottom. I really like it. It's really, really cute. So I'm very excited to try this on. And then it came with some leggings and then, some leggings to match the look. 
these are really nice and long and they're flared at the bottom and it's like a, um, a stretchy material this is a bit of me this is a bit of me so yeah that was it from both of the brands that were gifted i really like both the brands and i will be shopping on them more because the quality is consistent i've literally i love everything i've got in this haul i'm so happy next i went on motel rocks and i picked up a few things let's let's begin because i kind of low-key forgot what i got so and i'll start off with something that i want on my instagram and you guys went crazy over Oops which are these stunning, stunning, stunning. These are the Zoven Flare Trousers in Croc Dip Dirty Khaki. So I'm guessing the color's Dirty Khaki and these are everything and more. They are so comfortable, stretchy. Okay, this is in a size small and this is stretchy and this is comfortable. Flared at the bottom. Oh, they're just, they're just such a stunning pair of trousers. I want these in loads of colors. Like I need this in black, I need this in brown, I need this in red. They are flattering on. I'm gonna set pictures of how I've worn them. There's not there's not much, really much to say. How have I still got the tag on this? I need to take this off. Let <laughs> me cut this off, because this ain't going nowhere, okay? This is staying in my wardrobe for a good time. These are about 50, so a little pricey. Um, I don't know if I would price them at 50. I'd probably price them if I were to price them, I'd probably price them maybe 35. Quality isn't thick, but they're stretchy and they're comfortable and they look good on. So stunning, stunning, stunning. Stunning, stunning pair. Okay. Last but not least, we have Mistress Rocks, which is like the sister brand to House of CB. So yeah, they've got more casual, cool, edgy, funky clothes. And um, I also went a bit, no, I did go nice. So I bought like, I think I bought like three pieces. Yeah, that's about it. All right, cool, let's get into it. Okay, first piece. Ooh, this is the Duchess Wine Corset Top in the size medium. Ooh, I've been really loving like a little crocodile snake print with a, bit, a little vinyl moment. I've been loving that. And this is in a lovely wine color. I have plans for this baby. She looks cute. She is a vibe. I like her. This is this is a vibe. This is a moment. I've got a plans, big plans for her. So, stay tuned. Once again, the corset detailing is going to have me cinched. This, what is this neckline called? I don't know what the neckline is called. But it just has the boobs sitting right. Am I going somewhere with this? Mm, it's looking a little too ratchet. No. Okay. May may no. Okay, so then I've got another blazer. This is my third blazer, I've got that. Um, this is the Tender Heart blazer in black. I've got a size, I think what's small, there's small in this. This is definitely a small. Anywho, it's an oversized blazer. And, oh, I actually mentioned that I don't like like big boxy blazers, but this is work, this is gonna work because I have, once again, have a vibe, I have a, a vision for it, gosh. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put a cutaway on so you guys can see it. Love it. Really like it, really cool. It's giving me dad blazers, giving me a cool girl. I can imagine with top, um, with a crop top, some jeans, slouchy jeans, and maybe some air forces. That could be a moment. That could be, yeah, that could be a moment. So yeah, I'm very interested to see how I'm gonna style these. I have some ideas in my mind. You know, cause sometimes I don't wanna be a rich auntie. I wanna be a cool kid. So I like to have the balance of the two. Whether the price was affordable, inexpensive, or real pricey, the vibe and the look is always gonna be rich. Whether it's rich auntie or cool cousin, that's gonna be rich. Okay, you're gonna think it's worth more than what it actually is, and that's always the vibe I'm going for. Because what? Because less is more. Wow. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Once again, link will be down below to download and get started on ShopTagger and have a good shopping experience. Thank you for ShopTagger for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.